coming to you now. A special news report on today's events from our nation's capital. Dramatic scenes unfolded earlier today as the U.S. Army executed orders to remove the tens of thousands of veterans and their family members that make up the bonus army from government property. This follows the shooting dead of two demonstrators by District of Columbia police in what they have described as a serious riot. The demonstrators who've been demanding the early cash redemption of Army service certificates are mostly veterans who've been affected by the Depression. Their grievance is that they're unable to access the bonuses they earn through service anytime soon. While a bill was passed that would move forward the date of some of their bonus payments, this bill was defeated 62 to 18 in the Senate. Since then... The Bonus Army has been occupying Washington, but no more. The demonstrators were today driven from Washington by infantry, cavalry, and even tanks after it was determined that the local police were no longer in control of the situation. Infantry troops then entered several of the demonstrators' encampments, firing tear gas and burning shelters. The operation, led by General MacArthur, has been condemned from some quarters as heavy-handed. Others have pointed to radical elements within the Bonus Army as the reason for which they were dealt with swiftly and decisively. There has, of yet, been no comment from the White House or the Army. Here concludes our special report.